Hey everybody, happy Wednesday. Mark Kazi here from Black Cat Comics in Rockin' Milpitas. Every Wednesday is New Comic Day and I like to give you some great reasons to get down to your local comic shop and pick up something fun to read. It's a big, huge week with tons and tons of titles. Lots of great things to talk about, so throw another log on the fire because this might take a minute. Uh, gonna start with the DC guys because they've got some of the best things going on this week. Batman number 37. Once again, uh, most of your DCs have these super awesome Darwin Cook covers. Can't say enough about how much I like Darwin Cook. The great job he's done with all of these. Worth the $3.99 just for the covers. But of course, you're reading Batman anyway. Batman, Batman and Robin. Batman Superman with my favorite of the Darwin Cooks this week. And Batman Eternal with the ever cool Catwoman there on the cover. Rounds out your bat stuff and speak into the weeklies. Earth 2, World's End, continuing the apocalypse stuff. And New Futures, or New 52, Futures End, with what looks like Lady Deadpool on the cover, but actually that's some sort of little girl death stroke. And it's Women of the DCU Week, Wonder Woman, with another great Darwin Cook cover. Supergirl, with my second favorite Darwin Cook, because this one's got Streaky the Super Cat. Catwoman and Batwoman rounds out all your women of the DCU books for the week. This one's got Clayface. You can read more about that one in our newsletter this week. Justice League number 37, your main team book. Everybody's super into Justice League. Teen Titans, another super cool team book with your uh, Archie's homage there. Green Lantern New Guardians is your Godhead New Gods Book of the Week. And Multiversity Thunderworld from Grant Morrison. This is the one I've been waiting for because it's got Shazam. Captain Marvel, who you see right there on the cover, one of my very favorite all time characters. Certainly one of my favorite DC guys. Sandman Overture, number four. The Vertigo Book of the Week. The one you've been waiting for. All time great, legendary Neil Gaiman. Sandman Overture. We've got the other three in stock. If you have somehow been under a rock and you missed them, you definitely want to be getting up on that because that's a sensational title. And Fables is your other huge Vertigo book out this week. Getting close to the uh, ultimate finale there at number 150. Huge week for the DC guys. Great stuff. Big old week for the Marvel guys. There's four Axis books this week. This is Avengers and X-Men Axis number eight. Only one more issue to go. This has been huge. So uh, if you're one of the three event holdouts, uh, you're missing out because this book's been a lot of fun. That's the main one. We got Axis Revolutions, your last issue of Axis Hobgoblin, and Inhuman is your fourth Axis tie-in book of the week. Death of Wolverine Weapon X is your Death of Wolverine book for the week. Another uh, big multi-book event that people have been super into. All new Captain America number two. You know I love me anything Captain America. Second issue of a great series. I'm really digging what Rick Remender has done with uh, pretty much everything he does. Grab the first issue and pick up this number two. Read more about that one in our newsletter. Great stuff. Avengers Handbook is your only other Avengers book this week. This is sort of your official handbook in the Marvel Universe kind of thing. Your Avengers Encyclopedia. If you're a big A-team guy like me, then you definitely want to pick that up. And it's Women of the Marvel Universe week as well. Black Widow, super awesome book. Great covers on that one. Captain Marvel and the super red hot Miss Marvel. This book's been uber popular, so Again, uh, grab the first trade paperback if you've been missing out on that one. Storm and Spider-Woman round out your Women of the Marvel U. I'm really excited about all the great books out there featuring uh, some really excellent female characters. Uh, these aren't chick flick books. They're books for anybody that just happen to be about some really awesome superheroes. So pick up uh, one or any of those that we've talked about because they're super awesome. And speaking of spider stuff, Spider-Woman, this one, Scarlet Spiders, rounds out your Spider-Verse stuff. That's the third big event going on with Marvel right now that everybody's super into. And speaking of Spider-Man, Miles Morales, the ultimate Spider-Man, with your cool shield Hydra cover there. And speaking of Miles, all new X-Men. 
This and Uncanny X-Men are books I've been talking about for quite a while. All new has been a whole lot of fun. Brian Michael Bendis doing a stellar job rebooting all this X-Men stuff. So pick up uh, the trade paperbacks on that or just jump into the latest issue because that one's a whole lot of fun. Fantastic Four, one of my uh, all-time favorite Marvels. And Guardians of the Galaxy, one of your favorite Marvels because this book's been red hot. And not just because it has Venom. Moon Knight and Deathlock and Elektra, who I guess I should have counted in the Women of the Marvel Universe bit, uh, are three of your newer sort of dark side of the Marvel U books. Moon Knight's especially cool stuff, so you want to check that out. Great week for the Marvel guys. You know I love me some Mike Mignola, some Hellboy, BPRD, Lobster Johnson. This is your new issue of BPRD, Hell on Earth. Always encouraging you guys to get into some Mignola stuff because it's some of the best books on the stands. And Predator, Fire and Stone is your uh, Alien vs. Predator Prometheus uh, Fire and Stone book of the week. Dark Horse has been doing a great job relaunching all this sci-fi stuff. So if you're an Alien or Predator fan like most people, uh, pick those up because it's super awesome. Fun week for the image guys. Alex plus Ada is probably my favorite image book right now. I love anything from the Luna Brothers and this has been a whole lot of fun. A little bit science fiction, a little bit romance. Uh, kind of different from most other things out there like anything from the Luna Brothers. Wicked and the Divine, one of their big books everybody's super into. And Witches from Batman writer Scott Snyder. This one's been uh, taken comics by storm. We've got reprints of number one and number two. This is number three. If you like Scott Snyder and the job he does with Batman, you'll want to check that out. The Lone Ranger. It's one of my dynamite books of the week because I love me some Lone Ranger and they've been doing a great job with this book oh, for years now. This is the third series that they've done. A uh, whole lot of fun if you like westerns or again if you want just something a little different from what you usually pick up. Grab some Lone Ranger because it's well written and great art. And Bob's Burgers number five. Five of five. This is your last issue of Bob's Burgers except that it's been so super popular that I can't imagine they're just going to let this one die. There's got to be a second series coming. You hear that dynamite? Give us some more Bob's Burgers. Book is written by the same people who do the show, so if you love the show, you're definitely going to love the book. And if you don't love the show, then you need to watch more episodes because it's awesome. Shadow is my IDW book this week. This is uh, sort of short stories based on some Ray Bradbury stuff. Uh, again, you know I'm a big sci-fi guy, as most of you are, and everybody loves some Ray Bab Bradbury. So I like books with short stories that are self-contained and lots of fun. And rounding it out, it's a great week for the kids' books. Always want to talk about Jughead, because that's my favorite Archie. Uh, that's the double digest right there. Always good times with Jughead. Avengers Assemble Season 2, because of course I always like to plug an Avengers book when I can. Simpsons, you know I always talk about Simpsons comics and the great job that Bongo does with this. Much like Bob's Burgers, it's just as funny as the show, so if you love the Simpsons you want to check out their comics because they're really great. TMNT, The Turtles Have an All Ages Book. If you didn't know, everybody loves the Turtles. And again, good stories, good art, fun for the whole family. And My Little Pony has a supersized special this week because everybody loves My Little Pony, even you. Great stuff this week. So check those shipping lists, get a good look at it because there's lots of books out there, lots of things to check out. I uh, want to encourage everybody to sneak in this week on this big week and clear out your sub boxes. Uh, the end of the month is the end of the quarter, so you want to uh, get up as many uh, black cat points as you can to redeem those bucks next month. Just a little reminder. That's all I got for you for this week. Check us out at Facebook. Check us out at blackcatcomics.biz. Check out our cool YouTube channel, or just get on down here to Rockin' Milpitas. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.